but I haven't seen better days than this right here. So. This is a pretty cool day. Look at all these people. my wedding, Julia. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the vlog! Everyone wants to be in the vlog. Hajime! Let's talk about Brit's Pub. <laughs> this one's kind of hard, because for two reasons. Brit's Pub was phenomenal, one of the best events I've ever been to pole vaulting, ever. That's the easy reason to talk about Brit's Pub. The hard reason is, after New Jersey, I just stopped training altogether for two reasons. If I train through Brit's Pub, which is at the last week of August, pretty much the last day of August, that'll mean I have been training for one whole year without stopping. Then I'm supposed to start two weeks after that, and a two week break is not going to be enough. I'm going to need at least six just to... Recharge my batteries. Two, I was just mentally toast. If you've been following any of these vlogs... Ankle went to crap. Uh, the champs, I know I did because of the ankle. Um, I felt like I was regressing all summer because I didn't have any consistent training and was trying to like balance being healthy and traveling, just everything. I just needed to stop. I needed a break. <laughs> I'm torn to tell you my story of Brit's Pub, or just to tell Brit's Pub's story. I got an idea. This company made the perfect Brit's Pub video. I mean, when I think about it, this is exactly what it is, and this is a video I wish I made, and I had the capacity to make it, but right now, I probably could make one similar, but why if it's already made and it's already perfect? So, I'm right here, if you click right here, right now, this is Brit's Pub. So check this out. Uh, comment Team Hood on it or whatever you want to and just share the crap out of it. So there, that's the Brit's Pub story. Now I'll tell my story from Brit's Pub. Okay, back to like Wayne's World. If Brit's Pub wasn't being run by my good friend Jack Samanda and being helped set up by Leslie Brost and Twin Cities Track Club with Mike Renault. I hate to say it, but I probably wouldn't have gone. All the reasons I mentioned above. So I stopped training after New Jersey. So 14 days of just video games, movies, and mountain biking. I didn't even have the energy to, <laughs> to jog a lap. Don't you both are so much trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> Whoa. 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 Whatever you can do to help promote the sport, especially in Minnesota, because this is part of the reason why you're doing it. But I woke up that morning with... You're out of pole vault shape, and you hurt. You're going to no height. You ache. What makes you think you can pole vault like this? This is going to push you farther back, and it's going to take longer to recover. You haven't trained for 14 days. You're going to look stupid in front of all your friends and family, and people have never seen you vault before, and this is the first time they're ever going to see you vault, and it's going to look really crappy. All that stuff was going on in my head. Not to mention, there was like newspaper articles, and down the back stretch, and all these people who were trying to get... Um, interviews for Brit's Pub and Jack just kept sending them my way. <laughs> Within the week prior, I think I did two or three interviews. Oh my god, they're using me to help promote this thing and I'm just gonna do a terrible job by not being able to show up. I'm a horrible All this just negativity, negative thoughts were going on in my head. I was, I was really nervous. So as I'm eating breakfast and all these You're thoughts are just circling in my head over and over again. Over and over again. Over not gonna go well at all. Leslie sent me a picture of the setup. It was like I took a shot, <laughs> a curable shot, into my heart and it just went. Oh, that looks fun. 
<laughs> and I got that like little kid. Oh my god, I get to pull vault today on the roof, and I'm, I've never been done before, and I can't wait to do this. And I just want to just do it. I don't even care what the results are. I just want to go have fun and vault on a roof. And that was it. That was a game changer. So Leslie sending me that picture changed everything. And if you've watched that Brits Pub video already, you might ask why I wasn't interviewed. That whole time I was sitting there. Eating breakfast, thinking all those bad things. Leslie's like, Hey, can you be here by 11 o'clock to do this interview? And all I could think was, We don't jump till 7 if I get there. I'm gonna be there all day and just be toast and just more of that, like, ah, this is gonna be hard. And so that's that's the truth. About an hour later, she sent me that picture, and then I woke up and went straight to the meet. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, I was just excited. It looked like fun. So the moment I got there, it just felt different. It almost felt like New Year's Eve. This is a celebration of the whole year and all the hard work we all did. <sighs> this is the end of the season and the and the fresh start to next season. So I got there and I just mingled with everybody. Oh my God! <laughs> hey, John. You made the block. Oh! Hi! <laughs> That's gonna be great! <laughs> Everyone that came up to me was like, Can you believe we're on a roof? I can't believe we're on a roof! This has never been done! This is the first time we've ever vaulted on a roof! This is awesome! Dude, we're on a roof! What? We're on a roof! I know we are! I don't wow, know! We're on a roof! Ruff or roof? <laughs> roof, roof, or roof! It's not a roof! Come on, guys! It's a roof! I'm from Minnesota! I just couldn't get it out of my head how cool it looked, and you could see the skyline, all these buildings in the background, and it, just seeing it just blows your mind. So cool. So I just started taking pictures. This is my favorite one I took of Joseph Breedall. So we started warming up and uh, my little brother Kyle's a lot like me and ended up breaking into um, this building right next to Brit's pub and getting onto the roof somehow. <laughs> Sean! <laughs> That's my brother down there. And he was taking these aerial shots of Brit's pub. I know. <laughs> so that's where we were. That's where we were taking pictures of. It was just pretty neat. And then as I was warming up, um, you realize there wasn't enough runway. Kind of like New Jersey. But the difference was, is New Jersey, I tried to make nine work at where I didn't have enough runway. So I was like, well, I learned from that. And that's about all you can do. So I found an eight left approach, which I've never done. And uh, if you can learn anything from those crummy meats, like Jersey went really poorly for me, and I could have let it keep defeating me, but you know, it was weird. At that meet, I was just like, all right, I learned from New Jersey. All I have to do is try something different. <laughs> because what I did in New Jersey didn't work, so we tried eight. I ended up making a bar. I made 520 on my first attempt. got some tricky wins on the next ones and uh, just eight felt funny <laughs> I'll be honest with you but um, yeah I made 520 for the last meet of the season on top of a roof so I got my rough PR as the meets kind of getting over and we're talking all the elites were just talking about how long the season was and how this is by far the best way to end it <laughs> you know, I don't know how you could end it any better than that I mean we're vaulting on a roof of a pub hopefully we're promoting our sport in a good enough way. Get some kids. We gain some new vaulters out of this deal because we make it look fun. I hope we made it look fun. I hope we entertained a few people. I just, I really hope we just showed how fun this sport really is. <laughs> I mean, that video that I posted at the beginning can't show it any better. I mean, they did such a good job. Um, you could, I could watch that 5,000 times. So, a big thank you to the sponsors, Twin Cities Track Club, Brit's Pub, Jack, Amanda, like he put the whole thing together. It's just insane how much work went into it. And I think he slept for like 48 hours afterwards. <laughs> Richie Pitts, 
they donated a pit to you. I love Richie Pits, I'm gonna say it. I've jumped on a few of them this summer and they're all awesome. Light Deck Athletics brought all of their poles, or... Not all of them, because there isn't even a warehouse big enough to hold them all. <laughs> they chuck their poles. And all the volunteers. Nobody, I didn't hear anyone complaining. Everyone just looked like they were having fun. And uh, we couldn't have done it without all those volunteers. That was just in incredible. And can't thank you guys enough for that. Most importantly, everybody who came out to vault and everyone who came out just to watch because without the spectators, it's just a <laughs> pole vault pit on a roof. <laughs> but it takes people wanting to see it to make it as big as it was and that's really what made it so cool. Again, thank you, everybody. The best part is it was so successful, it's gonna be a yearly thing. Can't get much better than that. So like always, please subscribe. In this subscription, if you push this button right here, you'll subscribe to me. That helps me out tremendously to help keep making these vlogs and to help me keep training. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I do something on there daily, so if you're not getting enough with these vlogs, follow me there. It's at Sean Danger Hoot. Because Danger is my middle name. Um, if you want Team Hoot gear, go to Zazzle.com slash Sean Danger Hoot. There's all sorts of cool stuff up there. Check it out. It's all in the description below. All of Brit's Pub's articles that were done on me and Brit's Pub will be in the description below. Last but not least, remember a few weeks ago when I said, hey, if you left Team Hoot on some of those Mexico videos, I will send you stuff. Nick Foley, you win this guy. I will send that to you today. Or tomorrow, because that's when the mail will come. Caleb DeRoach. I think I said that right. Or is it DeRowan? Caleb DeRowan, send me your address and I will send you stuff too. Same with Mikey D. I don't know your full name, but that's here. That's what it says on YouTube. And Aaron Torres. I will send you something too. So, send me your address, your mailing address, and I will send you stuff. Thanks for watching. I was sent that video from Zach. Bart. Zach. Barton. Bart. Barton. Bart. It's funny because he farted. Or I just use the magic of video editing to make it seem like he farted because... I like to haze my viewers. Hazed!